<clears throat> Let's just uh, get this started. What's up, my punyos? Andy with All Games Played. Really excited here to share with you guys the, the fourth, maybe fifth, fifth and final vlog that I've been doing for the last month or so with regards to the channel, with regards to monetization, and uh, what's to expect moving forward. Uh, so, in announcements, our channel hit four years old today. Uh, December 13th, 2013, I started this channel with a hope, with a dream, and uh, I think that has really been fulfilled in these last four years. Now, it wasn't when I started YouTube. I started YouTube officially when I was in high school, so that would have been almost 12 years ago. Uh, we posted our first video, my twin and I, uh, us being pretty silly. Maybe I'll show you guys later, but uh, since then and when I went into college, um, YouTube was really, it was a really special place for me. It was a place where I could share my aspirations, I could share my, my creativity, I could share my per personality. Um, to a bunch of strangers and I didn't have to worry about being judged for the most part because most of my content wasn't viewed by anyone um, but it really it really became real if I can say that when I started this channel uh, I had a vlog in 2012 that I had started uh, about six to eight months prior to this channel uh, and then I decided to, to, to do video gaming. Um, it was mainly inspired by my older brothers. Um, AllGamesPlayed.com was a website where we reviewed video games that we beat. Um, three brothers put together our creativity, our ideas, and, uh, and we made a website where we would review some of our favorite games, provide insight, provide a score uh, and provide, I don't know, an outlet for us to be able to share with you something that we love. Um, that naturally moved towards a YouTube channel where we would play video games. We would get together, we would talk about it, we would do walkthroughs and let's plays. Um, I ultimately took the responsibility of the channel um, about a year after that and then, you know, I kind of just just went with it. This channel has seen so many faces. Uh, it started out as a uh, as a let's play for a a Android games, games like uh, It'll Do, games like Dead Trigger, games like uh, Swords and Sorcery, games like <clears throat> what else is on there? I can't remember. I, I played hundreds of games. Uh, and, then, and then I started playing more mature games. I played games like Overwatch. I played games like uh, Fallout 4. I, I even played games like StarCraft 2. Uh, you know, a bunch of different genres where I just threw up a camera and played. And after that, the channel ga gained some ground when I moved towards more... Um, I guess more kids friendly games like Minecraft and Pokemon and Roblox and since then we have accumulated almost 11,000 subscribers in the four years that I've been on here and I am so grateful for all of your guys' support. Um, this has been so much fun in the last four years to be able to share with you me because um, that's what I really realized that it came down to. It wasn't, it wasn't that I was providing content for instruction or tips and tricks or, you know, the expert professional gameplay. It was, it was me that I was sharing with you. And it's, that's really become apparent in the last year. Um, but unfortunately, 2016 in November, this channel suffered greatly. There was a big change in YouTube's algorithm, in the way that they viewed content, especially gaming content, which had a devastating effect on the channel. Uh, they went from a viewed, you know, view heavy priority to watch time. 
and then they made changes in their algorithm that featured content that was more curated f from a professional studio. They, uh, they heavily promoted um, network content and gaming got kind of pushed aside. Uh, gaming was really what brought YouTube, in my opinion, in, it, in the current sphere that it was at, in. From 2012 to 2016, YouTube grew because of gaming. And since then, since 2016, they've moved on. And that is something that I've unfortunately had to bear in the last 14 to 15 months. I've had to come to terms with that. And that's why I want to announce to you guys uh, the end of my channel. Um, I have decided after seriously eight to ten months that I can't do this anymore. Um, it's not that I don't enjoy it, it's that YouTube has created such a platform that my, my, my content can't be promoted, it can't be shown, it can't be recommended. And that's unfortunate. And, and I'll explain. My channel has had three specific things happen to it that has been very detrimental. One, um, YouTube has somehow categorized this in the back, in the back end as a more mature channel. Uh, what that means is subscriber notifications aren't reaching my subscribers. Most of my subscribers have come in the last 12 to 15 months. I'd say about eight to 9,000 subscribers have come, and that's when I played Minecraft, Roblox, and Pokemon. The majority of you guys found my content from that, but the majority of you guys are under the age of 18. And in 2016, YouTube made heavy changes where they, in the back end, in my opinion, started cataloging channels as teen, mature, kid-friendly, you know, E for everyone, based on the catalog that was in the videos. Now at that time, I had, I had put up over 2,500 videos, uh, 2,000 of which were very mature content. I mean, it wasn't like horrible GTA 5, GTA 5 isn't that bad, but like, it wasn't, it wasn't like amnesia, where it was like very, you know, I don't know, controversial and risque and just content like that, but it, it was like, it was like uh, Fallout 4, you know, where it was very bloody, very violent, vulgar content. Uh, that that content was caught by my by the algorithms of YouTube and uh, deemed more mature, and so my content was subsequently demoted in the subscriber feature function. People aren't seeing my content now. Fast forward to April with the huge. Uh, Adpocalypse 2.0, where uh, where many notable newsworthy and editorial websites had reported that YouTube was promoting content that was very explicit, that was very bad, even you know like terrorist promoting, uh, and so they backed up, reevaluated, tweaked the algorithm so that any vulgar, any violent content was to be censored. And that's what happened. Demonetization happened, and uh, my channel got caught up in that. While I wasn't currently playing video games that had that, some of my old content was being included in that. And then fast forward to Elsa Gate, family-friendly content has been severely uh, stifled. We have been severely crippled. Um, anyone that's basically claiming family-friendly uh, it has delayed monetization, has demoted content, and is also impacted uh, in the YouTube features that includes subscription um, subscribers. Um, squirrel moment. Uh, this tree is missing some light bulbs, and I didn't even realize that. <laughs> so. Uh, in conclusion, these three factors have greatly impacted my channel. Now, you're probably going to say, Andy, all of those things can be debunked. All of those things are just um, speculation. You're making it up. No one has really proven it. 
I'm not going to try to defend myself. I know what's happening. I can see the back end. I can see the daily grind, which I have, I have for the last four years. And I am not seeing as much promotion as I used to. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to finish this channel. Um, I'm going to end off, uh, and I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to be positive about it. I, I don't want you guys to be sad. I don't want you guys to fret. I'm still going to be around, just not on this channel. What that means here moving forward is that the channel will close January 1st, 2018. All games played YouTube will be done, and you won't see, um, for the, for the long term, any, uh, any new material. Um, I may have videos that uh, send out notifications to my most loyal of what I'm doing. I may have some cross promotion if I decide to start up a new channel where I make a couple of videos suggesting where I'm going to be. But I think for the short term, at least in the next couple of months, um, you're not going to see any YouTube activity. That also includes vlogs. Um, I'm not going to actively put vlogs up. Uh, although I am going to be making some videos, I have some videos on the back end that I need to finish. But um, what that means is I, I, I do have a direction. And you're probably asking, Andy, what are you going to do? Um, you've got like $5,000 at least um, invested into this channel with uh, equipment. What are you going to do? I, I'm going to stream. I, I'm not going anywhere. Um, YouTube left me. So I, I'm just doing what's in my best interest and also in the interest of the brand. And so um, if you haven't already known, we're gonna, I'm going to officially announce the Twitch channel. Uh, we're officially going to be an exclusive Twitch channel January 1st, 2018. Uh, I'm going to move all my content to Twitch. Most of my content is live, live streaming. So uh, for at least the short term, we're going to be doing more Pokemon. By that time, we will have wormhole hunting, shiny hunting solidified. Uh, we're going to we're going to do tons of stuff. We're going to giveaways. We're going to goof and we're going to gaff. We're just going to have a lot of fun. So please, if you want to support me, that's the first thing that you can do. Go download the Twitch app. It does say mature, but it's not. Tell your parents it's not. You you can easily filter it. You just, just like YouTube, you don't subscribe to the channels that are mature. Mine is not mature. You don't have to worry about mine. Mine isn't demonetized. I have had more promotion and more monetization on Twitch than I could ever have dreamed on YouTube. And so please come over on Twitch, please, down below in the description and the, there, hopefully there's a little card up here that'll promote you there. The second way that you can promote, my, that you can uh, help my channel is by uh, buying merch. Uh, I have a promotional code till the end of the year, AGP25 on my merchandise channel through Teespring, down below in the description and also here in the corner, there is going to be a link. Also, if you are on browser mode, you're going to see down below, below the description and before the comments, there is a section where it's got my merch. 25% off, that means $5 off the t-shirt. That's tons in this world. Normally, a printed tee is like 30 bucks. Mine is uh, 20 with a 25% code. You're going to get that for $15. It is a steal. Um, it's already at 13, holy crap. So I'm gonna end it right here. Um, without further ado, dab you out, shout outs. Please come to Twitch and uh, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. I'm really excited about what 2018 is gonna bring and please come support me over now.